Okay, Chris Billum Smith, CBS. Rights to wrong from a couple of years ago. He defeats Richard Riakpour on a 12 round unanimous decision. Yikes, those scorecards were bizarre to say, to say the least, because this was not a great fight to say the least. It wasn't. The first fight they had a couple of years ago was very good. This wasn't a great fight to say the least. It wasn't terrible. Like, it wasn't like some of Lawrence O'Coley's fights, but it wasn't great. But. To watch this fight, there was only one winner, and I was scoring this fight, and the only round I gave to React Ball was round nine. Some people would have given him the first round. I, I, I know he landed some jabs in the first round, but ultimately, you go back and watch it. Bill Smith was the guy who did more of the work in that round. I gave him that round. And yeah, for, for, for the scorecards to be 115, 112, because bear in mind, in the round number 12, React Ball got docked a point. I think it was round number 12. Anyway, it might have been the 11th. But... Yep. 115-112, so 5-7, close fight, and 8-4, 116-111. Don't know how they got those scorecards. Don't know what fight they're watching. Like, I, honestly, don't know how they get it. It, it. it counts for nothing at the end of the day. The right guy won, but this was Billum Smith by a country mile. Don't let those scorecards tell you otherwise. Don't let them fool you. They would have robbed Billum Smith if they could, but React Poor was so poor Going into this fight, you know, I didn't really do a prediction video, but I said at midweek report, I expect React Port to win. And not just me, you could tell Ben Shalom. You know, Ben Shalom, he was the Stomping Ground YouTube channel he was on. And very cleverly kind of, you know, tried to swap his words very quickly. So they asked him about this fight, Richard React Port, and he said that React Port will never have an easier chance to win a world title. And then he immediately realized what he said and went back on it straight away. And I was thinking, he's saying what we're all thinking realistically i know you can say oh that wasn't i didn't mean to say that yeah you did you meant to say that you, that, that was what you were thinking shalom that's what you were thinking and, and i agreed with him to be honest with you i thought look billam smith billam smith is a great fighter he is a fighter who is johnny nelson summed up this best many years ago where he said i'm a product of the gym and that's basically what chris billam smith is there's nothing really spectacular about Chris Biddle Smith when you look at him as a fighter. He's not even particularly athletic. You know, he really isn't. He's just a tough, durable guy with good, I say good, decent punching power. You know, he's not a crazy puncher or anything like that. But he does a lot of things well, does the basics well. And if you see him a couple of years ago and compare him to now, like obviously the React Poor fight first time was close, could have went either way. This wasn't a close fight. He was so much more improved. And both guys going into this fight, I said at the time, you look at Billum Smith and his last fight against Mastodon was not an impressive performance. I certainly, I mean, I was thinking, Jesus, you go into a fight against React Poor like that, you're in trouble. And I did wonder, you know, are we seeing signs that maybe he's a bit jaded? Is he a bit shop warm? Because Mastodon has always been a fringe world level fighter you know he's he's been on the cusp of world level but even in his peak he was never he was never that guy and he was having loads of success in there against bill smith too much success for my like and i was thinking oh god bill smith may be over the hill he may be starting to show signs of being on the decline well if he was then he certainly isn't now and go back to what i was saying bill smith is a fighter who has improved 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 he's lived the life he, again, no real athleticism, no amazing athleticism anyway. Nothing that really jumps out at you. He's just got better and better and better. And he's also fought the better opponents than React Poor over the last few years. You know, React Poor fought, I'm not sure if it was Bill Smith was his last fight in 2019 or if he had a fight after that. But he went from 2019 to 2021 without having a fight. And since he's come back in 2021 with Boxer, obviously he was with Matrim at the time when they fought Bill Smith the first time. He's not really fought anybody. It's just been like, you know, you could say when he fought Ola Duradola. Ola Duradola had seen better days five years beforehand. You know, when he was fighting um, Kudryasha for the second time, he'd seen better days. React Poor beating him, what good is that? Him beating an ancient Christoph Glowacki who was beaten comprehensively by Lawrence Okoli a few years prior. Again, what good is that? His last fight was an eight rounder. Yeah, he's getting knockouts. He get, he's getting these guys out of the way. Bill Smith is fighting Lawrence O'Coley, Isaac Chamberlain, Tommy McCarthy, Mastanek. It's much, much better to be fighting those guys. Yeah, they're going to probably wear you a little bit more, definitely. But you're improving. 
you're fighting a much better caliber of opponent you look at again the guys that react poor has been fighting they don't stand them in good stead for a fight like this i didn't think it would matter i thought he'd still have enough in the tank and i thought that he'd still be just fresher even though he's older fresher and be able to get to bill smith but he couldn't I, I it was bizarre really you know sky were trying to make out as though that him fighting as tentatively as he did he was very tense in there from the get-go looking to hold from the get-go and very smart by Billum Smith he realized that like that you could see early on in the fight Billum Smith realized all right I'm not having another Rocoli because that was horrific and it was horrific for all of us believe me he realized it quickly complained to the referee and the referee was on that hold and like that from the get-go it wasn't to the extent that Cody was doing certainly it wasn't like that but that's what Reactport was trying to do he was relying on single shots. He didn't seem to really have the confidence in himself to really let his hands go. It was a very bizarre performance. It, was, it wasn't It was a great fight. Both guys didn't look <laughs> didn't look world class, to be fair. They really didn't. But React Poor, really, he looked piss poor in there. He really, truly did. I wasn't impressed at all with how I was looking at him, what I was seeing. The right hand was crooked at all times. So he never seemed to be able to throw it completely straight. The jab was was okay early on, like in round one. And around one, two, two and three, he was having success with the jab. He wasn't winning the rounds, but he was having success and he busted up a little bit. And certainly blood was trickling down from CBS's nose. But what did Reactport do? He just kept using the single jab. Well, it was obvious CBS was able to slip it. So what do you do? Well, you double up on it and you maybe even launch your right hand to the body. Nope. Just going to keep throwing that same jab, hoping for the best. Yeah, how'd that work for you? Didn't work too well. Not a good performance um, at all from React Poor. You know, mentally, I was just thinking to myself, is he cut out? Even though he's already beaten CBS, is he cut out for it at a world level? Is is the, the occasion getting to him? What is it? Because he really didn't look, he, he just looked bizarre in there, really. Like, mentally, he just didn't seem switched on. The corner was so urgent. They were really urgent. They were like, they were almost on the verge of tears, the corner of React Poor. Like, please go out and do something. And he just couldn't seem to do it. He couldn't seem to be able to pull the trigger. And again, you know, it, it's easy to look at his last couple of performances and say, well, look, he wasn't really fighting anybody of any significant note, certainly at this point in their careers. So he was going to look good. Whereas Bill Smith, he hasn't looked a million dollars, but he's been fighting a much better opponent anyway. So was he expected to look a million dollars? And yeah, you know, Bill Smith was just out working. Richard Riakpour in this fight. He was landing some good shots to head and body. I liked what I was seeing. I think he stunned Riakpour a couple of times in there. As too did Riakpour stun Bill Smith. But Bill Smith, very cognizant about defense. He was very wary about some of the tricks, you know, the holding that uh, Riakpour was trying to do in there. And really, like, long range was very good for Bill Smith. Mid range was also very good for Bill Smith. And even when he got up close, he had a little bit of footwork to get in, landed a couple of uh, shots to the body on Richard Riakpour. And it was really, really good stuff. It was a really good game plan. Riakpour never really forced this fight at all, apart from round nine. And even then, you know, Bill Smith landed a lot of shots in round nine as well. It's a clear round for Riakpour, but it's not like he dominated it and it made Bill Smith think, oh God, what am I going to do now? He gave as good as he got. He just didn't give as good. Um, and yeah, it was just fairly one-sided in favour of Chris Billum smith So, good performance by him. What does React Poor do? I really don't know. I really don't know what he does from here. He's not going to win a world title at Cruiserweight. Ben Shalom said it. I know he, well, he'll say he didn't He didn't mean to say that, but he said it. This was the easiest chance he'll have to win a world title at Cruiserweight. Well, if that was the easiest, good luck. He's... I was going to swear there, but was, you know what I was going to say. He's something, if that's the easiest. Because Zerdo, he's not beating him. He, that, I can't pronounce his name, the WBC champion. He fights on Don King show, so good luck with that. But he, he's still a decent, he's still a decent fighter. He's not beating Apataya, sorry about that. He ain't beating Apataya. Nor is CBS, to be fair. He's not beating Apataya either. Um, you could bring him up to Bridger weight, although I don't really count that weight class. And God help us all if he fights a Coley could you imagine that good lord insomniac patients just stick him in front of that fight and they will sleep like a baby other than that it's moved to heavyweight and I don't think he has the skill set to be able to bother I don't think that react poor is not the quickest even for a cruiserweight he's not the most graceful in there I mean he really didn't look graceful in there at all tonight he looked about as graceful as an elephant in there 
So I don't think he's going to trouble anybody at heavyweight. So yeah, um, mm. not a great performance to say the least by React Poor. Very good performance by Bill Smith, although the scorecards will tell you it was close. Don't let those scorecards fool you. It was not close. Bill Smith, clear winner in this fight. Like what I've seen. What he does next, I don't know. I wouldn't be picking Bill Smith over the other champions. Certainly not Jay Apataya and certainly not Zerto Ramirez. But he really, I guess, I have to say it again, product of the gym, a fighter who has no real... There's nothing that jumps out at you about CBS in terms of talent. Just proved product of the gym and credit to him. Credit to him. So he moves on. We'll see what he does next. And yeah, we'll see what happens with React Port 2. So I will leave it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Been it. The card itself was okay. That's how I call it. It was just okay, the card. We'll see what way the US shows go. We'll talk about them first thing in the morning. I'll get up early. I'm not going to stay up and watch them as I'm a bit tired, but I will get those videos out, the reviews of Mateus, Benavidez, and obviously Tank Davis out first thing tomorrow morning. And yeah, for now, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. And for now, lads and lassies, as always, I'll leave it there. Peace. <laughs>